Hello? Hello? Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> What's up guys? I know it's been a while, sorry. I've been a little busy, we've been tied up. We've been doing a lot of stuff at the shop. I've been having a lot of stuff outside of the shop that I've been having to deal with too. But I thought it'd be a great time to do a little shop update. I've got a lot of cool so corals in stock. Um, so I definitely want you guys to come in and check it out. So without any further ado, why don't we cruise on in and kind of see what um, all the cool corals we have in stock are. And why we do that, I also want to let you guys know the Coral Farmer's Market is coming up June 12th and we will be there. So if there's anything on here they don't see at the site, we'll probably have there. But yeah, let's cruise on in. Pass me that. Nick, there we go. All right, guys. So as you can see, shop is doing pretty good. Everything's nice and stocked. Nick, you want to get the door? But yo, let's go ahead. Let's kind of go over the frag tank a little bit. AKA Nessie. <laughs> so yeah, so let's go ahead and jump right into kind of what we have in stock right now. Um, start, you know, over here in our little softy section. You guys remember my big old toadstool? It's still sitting here doing fine. Um, got these really cool, um, calling these disco hologram mushrooms. Really liking those. Um, some uh, people eater zoas. Um, I'm calling these reverse hornets. I don't know if that's exactly right, but yeah, really cool zoa that we have in stock. Uh, we only have a couple Laker zoas left. Um, those were selling out really good, really popular zoa some bitchin a cans um i've been getting a lot of requests for these are the mojaves a really cool really cool a can and then we call them these the hulks or the big greens um really cool a cans for all the a can guys out here this is a new piece we actually just got in uh yesterday this is the john deere cyphastria this is actually one of our favorite pieces we had to get two we actually love this cyphastria uh, we're big Cyphastria people. We're weirdos like that. We like those weird, odd corals. You guys know us. A um, couple cool D uh, Duncan uh, colonies. We've got this one. This is kind of, I think they're both Indos, but this one's got a little bit darker tentacle on it, which is really cool. We haven't seen that before, so we thought we'd have to pick it up. Um, then, of course, we got your more traditional one. Um, we got some really awesome Olivia Pora. A um, bunch of Olivia Poras in stock right now. Uh, let me get this blue out. The one on the left, this is actually two pieces. The one on the left, that's going to be the Sugar Plum. Um, and then this one is going to be, or sorry, the Sugar Daisy. And then this is just going to be a metallic green, which is just really, really pretty. Um, lots of hammers in stock. We got these combo rocks, which are really cool. You got a rainbow. You got this really cool, like, teal green one. A couple purples. Um, another rainbow hammer. Some splatters. These are my personal favorite. These are the golds um this beautiful trachea one thing uh you guys know me we really like uh sps uh like easy sps for sure we got the awesome selection of stylos in right now really good prices on these uh, this chalice is just absolutely glowing this is um hollywood stunner super cool that's up on the site right now this is my favorite gani that we have this is a metallic green um really really cool i mean it's it's almost it's almost a glitter, but it's got really more of a metallic look to it. It's really unique. I haven't really seen another one quite like it. And the size on it is just great. This is about three quarters open too. It does get a little fatter. Keep in mind, we just kind of fed everything. So everything might be a little sucked in from eating. Um, awesome Satosa here. This is like a real like lime green Satosa. Um, something we really like. Um, down here, these are some new guys we got in. A uh, nice little acanophilia, or how do you say it, Nick? Acanthophilia. Acanthophilia. I call them dino turds. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we have some pretty cool ones. Uh, a lot of cool plates that we just got in stock. Um, let me get that in focus a little bit. Nice kind of classic orange. This one is really cool. It's a, a bicolor, tricolor, couple colors. It's pretty <laughs> cool. You guys see it. Um, this one down here, sorry, excuse the egg crate. This kind of got like a, a purple and green going to it, really neat. And then another one we have under the egg crate there is a nice orange one. Again, excuse me for them being in, under the egg crate. We just put these in here yesterday, so we're kind of letting them settle. Um, some awesome, some more awesome Ghanis. We got this big, huge Indo one. Um, and then we got this little brother here too. Really good prices on these. They're both up on the site, I believe. So you guys feel free to go check it out. Um, another awesome little flower pot here. 
nice little one. We've got a lot of big flower pots. You know, we've got this one. That's It's a little upset right now because it just ate again. Um, but yeah, lots of flower pots. We really like the flower pots. Um, keep moving down the line here. We got these awesome jack-o'-lantern uh, leptos. I mean, just look at the detail on these guys, too. They're not like your typical jack-o'-lanterns that are all blown out. These, you know, we really um, tried to get the depth out of the color on these. So we're really enjoying those. Um, we got some really cool, just kind of uh, standard uh, green and blue Montes. Um, really growing good in our tank. <laughs> these things are just taking off. Um, good old Posse Lepora, one of my personal favorites. Also known as the Space Broccoli for you guys who follow me on my channel over there. Um, some really cool stoplights here. This is the uh, the red scully that we got. And then we have a really nice green one down here too. Sorry. So yeah, if you guys need a, a good stoplight in your tank, you let us know. A <laughs> um, couple cool elegances that we have in stock. This is going to be the first one that we have. Um, what kind of elegance is this? Is it just a... It's an Australian, just a standard pink tip. Yeah, just a kind of standard um, pink tip. Uh, really good color in the center though, the purple and mint. I mean, I just love that about that coral. Really cool. Um, got some more plates down here. This one's got kind of like a chocolate chip, mint chip look to it. Um, sorry, excuse me again for the egg crate. Running out of room. We gotta, we gotta keep filling tank up. So, um, oh, Coco's come out to say hi. That's our, that's our queen of the tank. That's Coco. She's our little powder brown, and that's our little sidekick bingo. He's our little uh, black fox face. Um, so yeah, keep moving on. Some awesome Monty caps. Um, couple really cool Monty caps in. Um, also some some cool slimers. Um, lots of slimers. We got these from Uncle Jim. If you guys know Uncle Jim, Pilot Corals, he's the man. So um, if you guys are looking for some more serious SPS, definitely give him a shout out. Um, here's another awesome elegance that we have in stock right now. Absolutely loving this one. It's got really fat tentacles. We've got another pink tip too over here that I'll show you here in a second. Let me go ahead and scurry to the other side of the tank. Alright, so yeah, we got this peach octospawn. Really beautiful piece. We just put this in yesterday, so it's not up on the site yet. Um, but it is already looking super good, if only for being in here for one day. We do like to keep things for about a week or so before they go on the site. A um, couple great torches. We're calling this the New York Mets. It's very similar to a NYX, except for it's a little bit more purple than gold. My filter is kind of making it look a little bit more gold, but it is definitely dark purple. Um, we got your traditional kind of just purple gold tip, which is looking really nice. We got everyone's big mama favorite, the big Aussie gold. We will, we do, I know I get a lot of requests. We will be cutting this up eventually. Um, it's just where it's at right now, it's kind of difficult to cut. Everything's really close together. So we're just sitting on it for a while. Um, you know, maybe someone's gonna come in and just want it. Um, let's see, we got it hiding down there. We got another toxic trach. You have another one down here, I'll show you guys. Um, yeah, I got stuff hiding all over this tank. Really cool little lobo down here. This one's really cool in some brighter lights. I know it's kind of low right now, but it does have a real cool tie-dye effect to it, which I really like. Um, the teal tent hammer, absolutely loving that piece. That is such a cool piece. Um, bubble coral, everyone's got to love a bu bubble. This is one of my favorite pieces. This is really something special. This is kind of like a frog spawn, octa spawn, but it's got a really cool coloration to it. Really bright green with a really dark center. Really cool piece. That one we are absolutely in love with. Um, little fox coral. Like this is another piece we just put in yesterday. So it is a, it is a little small right now. But I'll get you guys updated once it starts plumping up a little bit. Then this is a uh, this is Nick's favorite piece right now. What what do we decide on the name of this one, Nick? Fighting Irish logo. <laughs> Fighting Irish. Yeah. So it's just absolutely just St. Patty's Day green with yellow. Really cool. Um, got the candy shop logo in there. You guys seen that piece before? It's still here. It's a beautiful piece. I'm still surprised no one's came and grabbed that piece up. Um, got the purple confetti logo still here as well. Awesome piece. Um, so awesome Yumas. Um, these are those um, super greens. Um, if you guys follow King Tide Corals, you guys see we sent him out some of those really cool. Some really, really awesome orange ones. I mean, this one, it's almost reminiscent of that Godzilla 
which I really like. If you guys are old school bounce heads, you guys will know the Godzilla bounce. This is pretty dang close. Uh, this one's got a little bit more black center on it, which is really cool. Really, really cool Octospawn here, another one. We kind of went a little crazy on the, the Octos and Frogs yesterday. We really like those things, so. Um, here's our little Favia section. We've got a classic kind of Iron Man here. And then I think we're calling these Dragon Hides. They're re really similar to Christmas, except for they're a little bit deeper green, a little bit deeper red. Um, this is the Ultra, the Toxic, or Nuclear, I think is what we have it called. Uh, really, really bright. Um, and then, yeah, Toxic Trachea, and then, of course, everyone's favorite Japanese blue toadstool. And then, also, we got um, some of the Crypt Keepers are still hanging around here. These things are looking really good. Starting to kind of get some little bounces on them, too, if you check them out like that. Those, when those get start to get big, they're, they're going to color up and really, really pop. So we're really excited about those. Um, I think... Oh yeah, we got that little guy. I'll give him a minute. Um, okay. Last last one we have here, uh, last elegance we have here. Sorry, excuse me for the egg crate again, but guys, will see this one's really fat pink tip. Really, really fat. I'd move him out of there, but I don't want to piss everything off. Like I said, this just came in yesterday, so we don't want to bother anything too much. But yeah, look at the polyps on those things. Super, super fat. So, and then yeah, we got a little little Durasso over here hanging out nice little clamor keeping it keeping it going keeping that diversity going I think that's pretty much it I think we got oh we got a couple one more scully over here see if I can get a good pick on this one sorry it's under the egg crate again yeah it's kind of like a like I got a teal and purple I'll pull that one out uh, at a later time and I'll show you guys kind of a little bit more of how it looks uh, but yeah I'm gonna hand it over or uh, Nick's gonna go ahead and show us some of the fish that we got in stock right now and pull the filter off. Yeah, right now we got a uh, couple little fish. We have a purple firefish down here, which I'm really cool. Really excited about him, he looks really cool. And he's getting along great with this royal grandma that we got, which we all know they can be a little territorial, but right now they're just hanging out and doing perfect despite looking pretty similar in body size and sharing some colors. The real star of this tank though has got to be Neelix our starry blenny he's hiding in there somewhere <laughs> and his sidekick sidekick thumbtack is out here on top probably get a shot of him oh uh, yeah there's a little thumbtack little neon goby <laughs> when we first got him we thought it was a bag of water yeah he's so small but yeah all these fish are for sale guys um if you guys are local we're not really shipping fish yet uh, but if you guys are local we do have all these guys in stock um, we do like to hold our fish for two two weeks or so, especially if they're sitting here and here. This is our QT. Um, so, you know, you buying a fish from us, from us is going to be in pretty good quality. It's going to be well observed. So let's uh, get up to the uh, QT tank. Q, the, the softy tank here, QT1. And then, uh, Nick, yeah, why don't you go ahead and take the camera and just kind of go over what we got in here. Yeah, so we'll start left to right. And... Uh, First thing, we have these Lunar Eclipse Zoas. These are really cool. Top down shot is probably even better on them. Yeah, those guys are great. I love the rim. It's finally a name that makes sense for Zoas. <laughs> and then back there, we have our Blastos. Those, those guys, tricolors are sick. They were <laughs> cut, what, three weeks ago? They all look great. We're getting new growth. I've seen little pups growing out of the stalks. So I'm really excited about the Blastos. And these cloves were also cut at the same time. Looking really good. These are really nice frags. Anyone wants the firework cloves, these are them. Great color on them. They really light up under the blues. Really happy with those. Still have a couple more of the Japanese toadstools in here. Watch out, those guys are going fast. Everyone that's bought them, they're doing great and they're happy. There's the mama, just bouncing back like nothing ever happened. <laughs> so fat. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say this is called the War and Peace, right? Yeah, War and Peace Favia. War and Peace Favia. I'm not sure how peaceful it is, but we're <laughs> going to keep it right there. And then we have some mummy eyes. Everyone loves the mummy eyes. Get them while you still can. As you can see, they're happy, they're growing, they're lobing out. So by the time anyone comes in to see these, these plugs are probably going to be quite encrusted. Also got this guy, this is another chalice of the same genus. I don't know the name of this color morph, but it's a 
like a peach orange. Yeah, it's like a pinch it, pinkish orange. I know one of the chalice guys out there are gonna are gonna fill us in on it. Hopefully, oh, for so. sure. <laughs> yes, please do. And then we've got these uh, cyphastria over here. This is the Mars cyphastria. It's actually showing up a little bit more orange on camera than it really is. It's, it's very reddish. But then we have the the green and red, the classic branching cyphastria. Gotta love that one. It's a great little hard almost stick to put at the bottom of your tank that's going to take no light and more of those redactus in the back yeah the bull's eyes those look great really nice orange on them but you can still see the the green and blue shining through and then check out the the mini reef up here too oh yeah look at oh, that guys wow that's just awesome right there. And I, I almost promise you we're going to have the best prices on that mini reef that you're going to find anywhere. That is a really cool piece. If you're starting a little Pico or something or um, any little tank, or even if you have a big tank and you just want an easy, simple Zoa garden, that's the move. It's even got a couple cloves in there and stuff like that. Pretty, pretty awesome piece. Really excited about those. Yeah, that's nice. Um, let us know what you guys think down in the comments. And then um, if you guys like the mini reefs, maybe we'll order some more. And then these guys, these these pallies here, those are the uh, those are called Papa Jim Starburst. <laughs> so really, really cool, really, really cool uh, pally. Really fast grower. If you guys want something that's just gonna fill up some space, that's the move right there. Anyone who's had these can attest to that. <laughs> so, well, cool. Let's uh, let's head over to Snake's tank and just kind of get a quick update on what we got going on Snake's. Um, we haven't really been doing too much work on Snake's tank. We've, we've decided that we do want to do all green star polyps. Um, so I think we're just going to keep getting more and more colonies of green star polyps. I do definitely want to show you guys the Eclectus collection we have going on though. We have some real pretty Eclectus going on. Um, these things are just bright and they're getting big. They are getting really big. So um, also got some really cool nuclear pallies that are growing out in here as well. Um, the sun kissed is about to split, which is really nice. Um, these guys are saying it already split, so I don't know. We have to turn it around to really look at it. Uh, you see the interstellar in there? Yep. Yeah, that is that one is one of my favorites. There's actually two polyps on that rock, too. So if you guys go on the site, you'll see. So, um, And then we have the graveyards back there. Mm -hmm. These are under the blues. Can't, uh, once we'll turn the whites back on, you can see the, the uh, bounces on them actually get kind of a nice gold to them. But absolutely cool. This toadstool... We were struggling with toadstools in this tank for a while because I think we, we tried at a point we had four different ones in here at a time and I think they were all fighting each other. We left it just down to this one and this one is just looking fabulous now. So oh, we have the little noodly one over here too. Um, yeah, that one's been a nice yeah. little one. <laughs> so, and then, yeah, of course we got the mind blowns. You guys see just about every tank I have has got the mind blowns in there. So one of my favorite pallies. Oh yeah. Cool. So. Green tree. Oh yeah, and we got the Sinular up there, really fast grower. It does take a while for this coral to settle in, but once it settles in and it's got its polyps out, it just keeps growing and growing and growing. So it's something we're, we're really excited about. We're gonna keep growing out. We do have them for sale. I grow them out at home too, so um, it is on the site. If you guys are looking for the green tree, it's pretty, pretty sweet. Um, and then yeah, we've got a couple cocoa worms left in there. Oh yeah. I think we have, there's three. Yeah, I got one just a second ago. Yeah, snake. One of the bigger ones. Snake, our eel likes to knock those, to knock those off and stuff. So that's always, it's always a challenge <laughs> with, with them. But these, these last two that he just showed you, those ones have been sticking in there. Snake hasn't moved those around in a while. Yeah, so those ones have been good. You can see the <laughs> the new growth. All of that bright white skeleton is, is skeleton that was laid in this tank. <laughs> so yeah, other than that. Um, Good, pull that off. Let's get the lights on real quick. Go ahead. Got to focus? No, yeah. All right, cool. Well, thanks for stopping in, guys. I hope you guys like the little update. Uh, we definitely still have some other things in the works, too. The frogs are doing great. Rocky down here is doing great. We got uh, probably 10 spiders coming within a week or two, so those will be coming up pretty soon. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much uh, for stopping in and seeing our update. If you guys like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, also, if there's any pieces that you did see that you like that aren't on the website, shoot us a DM, shoot us an email on our website. 
um, let us know and we'll hold it for you. We'll send it to you. Um, like I said, we just got a huge shipment in yesterday, so it's going to be, you know, probably about a week till I get all this up on the site. But if there's something you like, let us know. Other than that, thanks for stopping in. Stay odd, my animals. <laughs> Later.